What's up, folks? It's your boy DT 2.0, and today we got one of the coolest. Get my camera straight. One of the coolest things I found in a long time that speaks instant nostalgia, and that's the My Arcade Microplayer Retro Arcade. And uh, a lot of folks will ask me, does it work? Uh, from what I see, on it, it better work, basically. Um, and if it does. I'm gonna have a fit up in here because I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy a whole line of these. I bought this one, the of course the Street Fighter II uh, Championship Edition, and then I bought this one, which was you know one of the first games I fell in love with because I'm an old uh, I'm I'm an old school gamer, right? Pac-Man, the original. Well, not maybe not the original, but one of the originals because there was a line. Now if they had Miss Pac-Man, I played the hell out of that mug, but unfortunately they didn't. But I'm gonna find it. So we're gonna unbox these, and I'm gonna test to see uh, if, how, well, not if they work, because they better work, but how they work. So let's break this open. All right, so I've already sliced the, the top open. It got some weight to it, I can tell you that much. Come on, man, it's like opening a, a thing on Christmas. Get that up out of here. Let's see if I can, oh! Nice. Let's see what's in the box. Oh, they got this in here good. All right, it's under there. All right, inside the box, I'm gonna put that to the side because I know y'all want to see it. And I'm just doing it just just because. Uh, inside the box, there's the instructions, right? And hopefully, they got all the. Do they have the moves in here? Yeah. Uh, it just kind of tells you what each button does, but not. I guess I gotta go look for the combinations like I did before. And in the back. All right. The good thing about this, uh, the cool thing about this, and if you see it in the in the instruction right here, is let me flip back to the page. Is there's actually the coin places where to put the coins at right there. That actually they say light up and then there's a coin button and of course the menu button so it's uh, basically it's exactly like it was obviously the uh, the button and joystick to game console ratio is off or disproportional because there was a, of course you know you can get two players on there at the same time but anyway yeah instructions and then of course you know they gotta advertise for more so let me see which other ones I'm gonna buy Burger Time is a good one. Bad Dudes, I played the hell out of that one. Dig Dug, oh my God. Galaga, Miss Pac-Man, I'm buying that one. My mom used to play the hell out of that, so I gotta got buy that one. Galaxian, Bubble Bobble, played the hell out of that. All of these old, they had Contra in there, but you know I don't think Contra would be a good game. And then there's Pocket Players. And I know what y'all thinking, right? I know what everybody's thinking. Well, yeah, you can use an emulator you know to, to to play the same games but it's not about the emulator it's about the nostalgia look at that this is cool af all right so as you can see on the front there's a menu button and then there's a coin button and that's an actual button so hopefully it makes those sounds uh that you that it used to make when you put the coins in there's even a sticker for the lock here <laughs> uh oh so that's the on and off button so that's cool right because this was this is what the red one was what you used to put your quarters in and then the bottom one the gray one is where the quarters used to come out um you know if you if you press the button and you wanted to get a refund not before you, or before you started playing the game once you started playing the game there was no refunds or if you were like me try to put a fake quarter in there to get your game in anyway in the back it looks like there's a headphone jack and then um uh there's a room for four double a batteries yeah, I'm not real keen on batteries, right? There is a, uh, this is a proprietary um, link cable that do we have here that you can link two of these together and play somebody else in Street Fighter. I probably wouldn't take wouldn't take it that far if I, to be honest with you, I probably just play this one and we can, you know. Uh, to have fun with it, but to, you know, this is not the 80s where you have to have it. If I wanted to play somebody in this, I will pull up the actual game, play the up-to-date game, uh, you know, on you know, on on, uh, on Steam, 
or whatever platform you have it and just go from there but it's just cool to have this here but this is exactly like the machine was back in the 80s you know uh, sands all the dust that used to collect back here um, from it sitting in a what we used to call sweet shop all right so let me go ahead and either find some batteries or plug this thing in and see what the resolution looks like all right, folks, so we got it plugged in, and I just so happen to have a USB. This is just a regular, uh, it's not a USB-C cable, it's just a regular USB cable. Um, and I just happen to have one charging uh, my mouse right here that was already charged up. I just normally, I li just leave it plugged in. But let's plug, let's turn this thing on. So like I said before, these buttons right here are supposed to light up just like it used to in the arcade, so we'll see. And they do. When I say nostalgia, this is nostalgia. So let's go ahead and put this down. And this doesn't look that bad. I actually, it looks a little bit more crisp than I thought it would, to be honest with you. And it got some volume to it too, just those clicks. Now the joystick does feel like the original joystick back in the day, right? It has like little, little notches where you can really get into like this says offensive crouch right here this says crouch you can feel it go into like a little groove right there it's not a big groove but you can feel it now as far as it is a little loose to me and this this right here this i don't know this washer looking thing is it was exactly like this in the arcade back in the day so you know um you know it's nothing different except you know obviously the game will be bigger now my dream in the future is to have the big version of this at least buy one with the multi games in it but um for now this will do and this will decorate my room so let's go ahead and see if we can start something excuse me if i get my butt whipped because i haven't played like this in a long time let's check it ram and when i tell you it looks exactly like the Street Fighter. The warning. Low fucking budget, but guess what? This this was high end graphics back when this game came out. Oh, so I actually have to insert a coin now. Let me turn this down. Now there's the, the volume button in the back that I just turned down. That's where y'all won't be blasted out by it. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is some, you know, some static looking stuff here. But also, you can see on the side there's the characters. And again, if you haven't seen one like this, I doubt if they're still around. If they are, lucky you, you got an arcade, um, you know, in your um, in your city. There is a place in San Diego called Coin Op that has has games like this, but I don't know if they have Street Fighter, right? But you know, it looks like only eight characters, probably more, but we'll see. So what we're gonna do is press the coin button, and then I put two credits in there. You can put as many credits as you want. It's like putting money in there, man. If I had money, okay, it looks like nine is the most you can go. If I had money like this back in the day. Back in the early 90s, this came out in 91, 92. So what we used to do when we used to stand in line and play this game, two people playing, you would walk in the arcade and then you would put your uh, 50 cent, because it used to cost 50 cent to play this game. You would put your 50 cent right here, right, to let people know that you got next. That way if you leave to go use the bathroom and come back, you could hold your place in line. You don't have to do that now. Now you just got a coin button. All right, so let's go ahead and... All right. Now, I'm only gonna play one game, just just to, just to show y'all. Like I said, I don't want to get my ass beat. Yeah, look, he just hit me off the. Look, he just tear me. Hmm. Get some. Bro, what is this on? Super hard? Does he tear my ass up? Relentless. Them elephants getting on my nerves. They always get on your nerves when you're losing, right? 
<laughs> I like the way these buttons feel because again they feel exactly like they did back in the day so I think I figured out this mug Caught me up in the corner. No! Alright, we'll finish this match up and then I'll move on to my other unboxing. Man, you just sit there used to stare at people in the face and shit after you whoop their ass. And hope they don't go home and come back with a gun or nothing. <laughs> I played in the hood. somebody else all right he about to get oh no get out my face chump get your 50 cent off of here Oh, he bloodied up. Look at that. Now, the viewing angles are trash. Don't, don't get me wrong. Now, this ain't a high-quality LCD. You must be looking at this uh, straight on. Let me turn this thing off before I get my... What, what. You must be looking at this thing straight on in order to get the best view and the, the, best, um, um, the best view of the screen of your game. But then again, it's just a one-player game. So, all right. So, this is the Street Fighter one. Definite, definite keeper in my book, Straight the Nostalgia. But now let's open up this other one that I have here. I'm going to unplug this. And again, it's just either four AA batteries or a USB cable uh, connection right there. Put this to the side because we're going to figure out where we're going to put that at. And now, man, I could play this game for hours. Right, I had it down. I had Pac-Man down to a science, especially Miss Pac-Man. So let me break it out the box, show you guys what that looks like. So this one didn't come with all the fanfare. It just came with a for the, the reason why it's gold like this is because this is the 40th anniversary uh, version, and as you can see, it has that that two-sided sticker on it that makes it look. It was just like this in the arcade back in the day. But uh, yeah, you can see how I got it. I'm using my cheap camera today, my iPhone camera. Uh, but it's the same thing, four AA batteries in the back. Don't know how long that'll last. Uh, this one doesn't have the connect to another player, uh, um, connect to another machine connection in the back. Let me try not to break this. Uh, fingerprint magnet. So if once you put this on the shelf, don't touch it. Uh, yeah, and these these volume buttons don't feel as tactile as the they're like uh, recessed in there um, in um, comparison uh, to the Street Fighter one where the Street Fighter one was raised they were raised and I can clearly feel them when I um when I had them in the back anyway let's peel the stick off right sometimes remember those old school cheap ass games they used to have back in the day they used to put a sticker on there like those uh what's it, what it called those tiger games that used to have those stickers on there you think that the graphics are like this and you turn that junk on it's those black and white oh my god that black and white just regular movement shit look up look up any of the tiger games those are nostalgic too i guess i can use those for decoration but i would never play those things those were like like i have nothing else to do with my life so let me waste it on these Tiger Electronic games. Anyway, same thing here. Court, where you put your quarters in, where your quarters will come out. The keyhole is even right there. It doubles as a power button. Now, anybody that never played Pac-Man before, if you're from another planet or if you've never heard of Pac-Man before, there's no buttons. It's all up, down, left, right. Right, that's it. Up, down, left, right. There's, there's, no, there's no other buttons to shoot. It's just walking around eating pellets or floating, I guess we can call it. Floating around eating pellets and uh, trying not and es escaping from the ghosts. All right, so sound like corduroy, but that's because that's two-sided 
That's what makes it give it that. It's not necessarily 3D, that movement effect on the side, right? Uh, Pac Man 2020 Bandai Namco Entertainment. All right, so let's turn this on and see what this resolution looks like because I was kind of surprised at the Street Fighter one. So let's see what this looks like. And this is exactly how the game used to come on lights again at the bottom. And oh man, it looks exactly. Again, viewing angles are trash, so you need to be looking at this head on. Now, they actually made smaller Pac Man games like this way back in a day, but they were trash. They were not to this level. They were like, uh, I don't know, even know what they call it, like a bunch of lights in the background. And the, uh, the speaker sounded like a bunch of mice in the inside screaming for, to escape. It, it really was trash. Um, this one, on the other hand, I'm expecting to sound pretty good. So let me see if I can turn the volume up. I guess they don't give me no. All right, so so this one doesn't have the quarter button in it either. Oh, there it is, coin. Oh, that sounds like a mice fart. <laughs> I'm tripping. I ain't even drinking yet. All right. E. The Street Fighter one feels a little bit better. Pac-Man is always best played with what we used to call a joystick, and that's this little knob. And I'm ooh, that's this little knob I'm holding, the gold knob. But this was the first iteration of it, so yeah, run, don't run now. Miss Pac-Man is the one that set the set the standard after that. The red one was always the most devious one. That's why you always go after him first. And I actually had a cartoon way back when. No. Oh, I'm about to give all four of y'all asses. Sometimes you just scare them just so you can go get your... Nope. Go through my portal. I'm about to get my ass chumped. No. So it doesn't sound exactly like Pac-Man used to sound, but it still sounds good. A little. Let me just go ahead and finish this. Yeah. It, it doesn't sound exactly like Pac-Man, but it sounds good enough for nostalgia. I might package this up and give it to somebody for. No, I'm keeping this shit. I'm a big ass kid. The joystick doesn't feel as tactile as the Street Fighter one, so don't expect too much out of that. Ooh, oh! Oh, I should have got his ass. There is no pause button on here. There's a reset button, but there's no pause button. So. That was my unboxing of these two awesome, awesome nostalgic games. The only thing that we're missing on this one is this used to light up right here at the top. If they had had like a little cheap LED, and I probably could do that myself up here to make this light up, man, you could have this posted in your room just on like this at all times. Just to, I think I might do that. I think I might do that. So just to give y'all a little clip, because like I say, my camera is, is doing a horrible job of well, the LCD is really trash, but I'm trying to give you guys the best dis the best look at the display. But as you can see right there, there's the reset button, the coin button, and then the start button, right? And that's exactly how it was. You put your quarters in, press start. You press start twice, you got a two-player, whether you liked it or not. Um, but this is the 40th anniversary edition, my arcade, along with the Street Fighter one. And I can't wait to get more of these and have these just sitting on a desk somewhere looking cool as fuck, all plugged into. They all work by USB, so all plugged into a USB uh, hub probably and just make it look like a little mini arcade, like literally. Let me know what y'all think. Hit me in the comments. Thanks for watching. This your boy DT 2.0, and I'm out. Deuces.